Hey everybody, it's David Vecdale, learningdslrvideo.com. A while back in July, I asked you guys, I did a blog post on what type of laptop should I get? I was looking for a new one. The, the big old clunker 15.6 inch laptop that weighed almost six pounds. It was just too heavy to lug around. I needed something small, 14 inch, powerful that I could use for like Photoshop, Lightroom, and do some video editing out in the field and rendering and stuff like that. And had USB 3 and SSG drive and a good graphics card and all that good stuff. You guys gave me lots of great comments and one of them, was this one, the Gigabyte. Um, I actually purchased this. It's not a B&H type of loan or anything. I purchased it from Newegg. It's the P34. Now, if I was lying as tech tips, I'd do an unboxing, but I'm not. That guy's a genius. I am not a genius in terms of computers. The actual model number is a P34G-CF1. So, uh, run through the specs really quick. Um, it is... Um, comes with Windows 8, not really big uh, on Windows 8, but uh, it comes with a DTX 760M with DDR5 2 gigabyte. Um, has a i7 processor in it, and I'll tell you what that is in a second. It only weighs um, 3.7 pounds or 1.67 kilograms. Um, comes with a 256 uh, gigabyte SSD and a one terabyte um, hard drive, so great for video editing. Um, the like I said, the 14-inch size is great for me. It, the processor is an Intel i7 4700 HQ, which is a beefy processor for this little laptop. Um, we're going to get more into that in here in a second with some of the tests I run. Uh, 21 millimeters thick, so it's really thin. Has this dual heatsink pipes with fans. I'm going to show you some tasks here in a second, but this is a problem having with the computer. Um, and I know I ask lots of questions. I try not to ask too many questions. I try to share as much as I can. Sometimes I have to ask a question. And I know some of you guys are like in the comments, why do you ask so many questions, blah, blah, blah. And I you know I try to share, share, share. Sometimes I will ask a question every once in a while. So this is me asking. Um, if you don't like my channel, you don't have to watch it. Um, so. Here we're going with the uh, GPU and the CPU uh, fans. Um, fortunately, this thing is like a wind turbine. It's a wind machine. It's a, uh, oh my gosh, it's loud. Um, I remember reading the comments in, on Newegg and this guy was, or somebody did a, a review and it was like complaining about the the, the noise. Like, ah, it can't be that bad. Well, yeah, it's it's pretty bad. And I'll show you some tests here in a second. But let me finish the, um, the specs. The display on this is really nice, um, IPS. Uh, looks really good. Um, blows the doors off of my old laptop. Um, the, the sound is not that great. Keyboard's really nice. Um, and again, it has that combination of SSD and H, um, a, a hard drive as well, which is which is awesome. So um, let's run through some tests really quick and um, kind of demonstrate the noise level of this thing um, that I ran with Premiere Pro. Um, first off, we'll bring up Premiere here is I'm gonna show you, this is from my monster computer, this computer right here. I wanna just give you a kind of a test bed of what's going on. So I'm gonna hit, uh, hit play here. And this, what I want you to look at right now is that little green dot that I've got my cursor over. Um, you'll see that's an indicator for drop frames and it's not dropping any frames. And if you look at the uh, CPU load, um, you can see it's quite high. And let's go back. And if you look at the uh, the temperature, you can see they're in the 50s and 60s. Um, so not too bad uh, running at full blower uh, on this. And if you don't know about my monster computer, definitely go back and watch how I built it. Um, so no drop frames. This is H.264 coming up by Canon 5D Mark III. It's not like a red or anything. And, but the th big thing I want to show you here is I've got a Gaussian blur on it, um, which is very difficult for uh, you know Premiere to do real time, and shadow and highlight, which is very hard to do as well. So no drop frames. Next thing I want to show you is, and I sped this whole process up, but it this is like a maybe a one minute clip, and I took all the I took all those things off of the uh, clip, um, the Gaussian blur and the shadow and highlight. And it took 45 seconds to render, so pretty darn quick, um, which this computer does extremely well. So next up, I want to show you the Gigabyte, and I want you to actually listen to the Gigabyte as well. So here I'm going to hit play, and this is with the microphone pretty much close to the, the laptop, and I've had to bring it up a little bit so you can hear it, but right there, you heard the laptop uh, audio go up. 
Now when I go to hit play, it really kicks up. Now this is with the Gaussian blur and this is with the shadow and highlight. Um, so this is really hard for it. And you'll see that it's dropping frames. And I believe at the end here, see it's getting even louder. It dropped around 450 frames. So there's two things that are really important to me is the um, playback, which is very important during editing that you're not dropping frames. And the other thing is rendering speed. Um, and this is, this is, and I, in terms of the fan noise here, I don't really care because it could be a wind machine <laughs> making incredibly loud amount of noise. I really wouldn't care, but this is what it sounds like when we're rendering because I usually walk away from the computer while it's rendering anyway. You can't you basically use it. And you can see the core temperature. Um, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's hitting like 96, 97 degrees centigrade. And here I'm speeding it up and it took 64 seconds. So the other one, my monster computer took what, 45 seconds? This one took um, about 20 seconds more. So not bad, pretty darn good in terms of rendering. I'm really impressed on how fast it could render. Um, if you're looking for a rendering machine, this thing's pretty good. If you're looking for a wind machine too. Um, next up is my old laptop. And this is where I thought, the only reason I did this test is just to demonstrate of what I'm used to in terms of fan noise. So, so here I hit, I've got the Gaussian blur, I got the shadow and highlights, um, and it's going through and this is the microphone exactly the same distance away from the laptop and you can't even hear it. I mean, you can kind of hear it. You're going to hear it ramp up here towards the end just a little bit, but look at the temperature. Temperature is like 50 degrees, 57 degrees centigrade, hardly doing anything. 687 drop frames. So about 200 more drop frames than the uh, Gigabyte P34G. Um, this is an old Acer laptop that I bought for like uh, $450 a couple of years ago. But in terms of playback, it was really nice because it didn't create a whole bunch of noise. Um, it dropped a lot more frames, which is not good. And then what I did is a um, rendering test on this one. And I, you can see I've sped it up, but it took three minutes and 37 seconds. So a huge difference in time in terms of rendering, um, which is not very cool. So just to put them back to back so you can hear the difference, this is rendering and I'll be quiet with the, uh, my old machine and then coming up, this new machine, here we go. Yeah, it's loud. All right, so what I can do is got the microphone right here and right now it's asleep. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wake it up. Should wake up pretty quick because, you know, again, it's got this SSD in here. Um, it should just wake up fast anyway. Um, and you can see it's going right to this kind of the lowest fan speed, which is between 40 and 50 uh, centigrade. I don't know if you guys can see these numbers right here, but it's between like 49 and now it's kicking up and it's just getting louder. And I haven't really done anything. I just brought it out of sleep mode. So it's, it might be doing stuff in the background processes. I don't know what, but so if I just like were to cruise the web, let's say, I don't know, my website for instance, and just go to Ernie DSLR, click one of the posts, hit play. Um, see the temperature is going up. It just went up to another span. The fan speed just went up a little bit. Um, so that's kind of annoying. I mean, I'm not doing any sort of Premiere Pro or anything like that. Um, just the fan noise is kind of annoying um, that it's already so high that the temperature is already so high inside here that it has to start cooling down. I can tell you just feeling around the computer and feeling the bottom of this, it's um, really cool. I mean, everywhere, well, the keyboard, slightly warmer, but right here is really cool. So the fan is pushing the air out and it does a really good job, but these temperatures just keep going up and down so much and this fan is just so annoying. I wish it would ramp um, or I could build a curve. If you guys know how to build a curve for this thing, I don't know how to do it in the BIOS or whatever, 
but maybe there's a way around this. But I think this thing just runs so hot. For instance, if I go to Premiere Pro, and here's this clip. Here's another clip that I put shadow and highlights on. And if I hit play, um, it's going to work it really hard. And right now the numbers are going 80s, 80 degrees centigrade. Um, now it's getting even louder. So, you know, obviously, I mean, I got the shadow and highlights turned on, which is really tough on the computer. So if I take that off, that effect, and I were to play, it should cool down. And you can see the numbers are coming down dramatically. But I don't know, you you know, if you're video editing, you could definitely do it with uh, headphones and noise isolating headphones and you get around it. But is there any way that you guys know that I can control this fan a little bit better? I mean, there is an option in here. Let me show you. So I don't know how well you can see this, but there's a fan tweak and I can go to stealth mode. Um, doesn't do that much of a difference. Um, you've got auto and then you've got turbo. Yeah, turbo. So even if I leave it on stealth, um, it's going to override it when it gets hot, obviously, but um, I haven't found much difference between stealth and auto. But uh, is there any way I can build a curve um, somewhere within the BIOS or something like that, some third party for this particular laptop? I've called Gigabyte and they said, no, we don't offer anything like that. He said, if enough people call in, maybe we'll do something. Well, anyway, if you guys give me any sort of pointers on this, I might want to send this one back and get a different laptop. So uh, this fan noise is just a little bit too much for me, just the way it just goes from one step to another and back down again, even when I'm just cruising the web. I don't mind so much when I'm rendering, but um, I know my wife, which will use this occasionally, will complain. So let me know. Thanks. Bye.